Okay, I'm going to be showing you the operation of the Pelton sterilizer. First, we're going to take our distilled water. We have about three cups. We're going to put this into the reservoir, pour it into the reservoir. And this water will go from the reservoir into the inner chamber. The faucet here gets turned on and that will fill the inner chamber. And I can tell when the inner chamber is filled to the right point when the little funnel uh, starts filling up and not draining. Okay, so it looks like the inner chamber is just about full. Maybe put a little bit more in. Okay. There'll still be a little bit left in the funnel. Now we're going to load the sterilizer. We will open the door. And we will put our instruments inside loosely, just a few for demonstration purposes. We will close it up. And snugly tight, we are ready to turn on the power. Now both of the right hand valves need to be closed while it is heating. So we will turn close the upper right hand valve, we will turn close the lower right hand valve, and the left upper valve we will have open in the outer position. And it will take about 10 minutes or so for heat to build up pressure which will be indicated on the upper gauges. Okay, you can hear the unit boiling now. The water is heating up in the outer chamber, which you can see by the left hand gauge that measures the outer chamber. And it will be about another five minutes. And when both gauges reach the 15 pounds, which is the uh, green area of the gauge, then you can start your sterilization timing. Okay, you can see now that our outer chamber has reached about 8 PSI. At this point the inner chamber is still zero and uh, just a little bit the inner chamber should start building up pressure and we will wait for both to reach 15 PSI before we start our timing of the sterilization. Okay, you can see that both gauges now are past the 15 PSI into the green zone. Um, we can keep the pressure going up if we like. We can also vary the pressure by this knob down here. Decrease up, increase down. And we'll begin our timing of sterilization now that we've reached 15 PSI on the inner chamber and we'll, to be safe, go 30 minutes of sterilization. Okay, we've reached the end of our sterilization. We've been at 16 PSI for about 30 minutes. So we will turn the power off at this point.
Okay, power is off as you can see by the red light. It is no longer glowing. And now we will prepare to release the pressure, which we do with the upper left hand valve. We will open it and there will be a drop in the inner pressure. We can watch the right hand valve as we open up the open the upper right hand valve that will start to drop the inner pressure. Okay, that is releasing steam condensing to water back into the reservoir here. We'll keep that on to keep from burning ourselves. And you can see both the inner and outer chamber are decreasing at this point. Now it's not safe to open up the chamber until we've reached zero. So we'll just let that go. So always remember to turn the power off when you're getting ready to unload. Um, and to open up your left hand upper and open up your right hand upper valve that will drop the inner and outer chamber pressures to zero. Okay, we've reached zero now and we can crack open the chamber just slightly. There'll still be a little bit of pressure. And after a few minutes when the pressure has dissipated, we can open it up further. And quite a bit of steam coming out here. And open up the door. And we have our instruments. Now I'm going to show the technique of emptying the water from the sterilizing unit here. We have the upper reservoir that contains water, which when we open the valves, the boiling water went back into the upper reservoir. We still have some water inside the outer chamber, um, which first will open the right lower valve and turn the faucet open. And this will drain, this, this water is still boiling since we just completed a sterilization procedure. We are now emptying the water from the outer chamber. Um, this is important to do periodically because even though you're using distilled water, you can build up some deposits. And this will fill up about a cup of water here. Now at the same time, if we want to, we can empty what's in the upper reservoir by opening the upper valve and this faucet here. 